Hello, my name's Jerome Martin, and I'm one of the authors on the 100 Things to Know series. I've been working on these books for about eight years now, and I absolutely love them. They are full of amazing and exciting facts and illustrations and infographics. Um, and these are facts that we've chosen not because we think kids need to know them, but because we think they'll be just as excited to discover them as we were ourselves. Writing these books is an extremely lengthy process. We usually have four or five writers working together, and we don't start out with a book plan. Instead, all of us just go out and search for the best facts that we can find. Uh, we all turn into foragers, scavengers, hunting around for, for little snippets of information that might lead us onto an interesting idea, a great fact, something surprising or exciting. Um, we listen to podcasts, read newspapers and magazines and books. We listen to the radio. You never know when suddenly a news story is going to pop out of nowhere, a new discovery um, or uh, a new scientific theory that we can turn into a page of this book. I wish I could tell you what my favorite fact is from A Hundred Things to Know About the Oceans, but it's, it's impossible. I'll just name two. First, did you know that Parrotfish wear PJs made of mucus when they go to sleep at night. Scientists think this protects them from moray eels. And did you know that icebergs fizz as they melt? Ice is actually full of millions of tiny, tiny bubbles that were trapped in the ice hundreds or thousands of years ago. And underwater, you can hear those bubbles popping as the iceberg melts. One of the things that we all learned working on 100 Things to Know About the Oceans is just how important the oceans are to our lives and to the planet as a whole, um, and how endangered they really are by climate change, by pollution, by human activity. And this is something that we hope kids are going to learn from this book, along with, of course, so many other exciting facts and ideas.